We're playing Origins with COD Vanguard weapons. The best zombies map combined with the worst zombies game. So this is going to be interesting. Starting off with some kind of 1911 with ridiculous FOV. I guess we'll just go ahead and turn on this generator. I kind of like the running animation though, not going to lie. Oh god, hello, almost going down. Now we're not actually doing gun game because for some reason, I don't know why. This one only has the PAP option and then normal plus PAP, which would basically mean we're doing double the weapons. So we're just going to go and like hit the mystery box and see what guns we get that way. All right, let's grab this double points in before we get a double points from one of the zombie drops. I can just, I can see it coming, you know? Now, I really don't have much experience with Vanguard weapons. Oh, speaking of double point, was it? Or was it a carpenter or something? Couldn't tell, it was purple. Well, I guess it wasn't because my double points is running out, so. Oh my God, it's PhD. I must have PhD flopper. <laughs> What the fuck? It just gave me a free perk immediately, okay. I suppose I can't necessarily complain. Oh, a KRM? That's not a Vanguard weapon? Um, let's not use it then. I want to actually, like, stick to the legit weapons. Oh god, we've got to turn this on with no ammo. Oh, this is going to be sketch, isn't it? Ooh, shit. At least we have the goddamn normal perks, I suppose it's that. Alright, there we go. Ooh, I've got to run down here, hit the mystery box. This is going to be risky in the middle of the round. What do they get? Oh, of course, I got a fucking like sniper rifle thing. Oh, brilliant. I mean, surely it's not going to be dog shit. Okay, it's... Honestly, I kind of like this. What the fuck? Oh, God, aim. Something about this sniper, like with the scope and everything, it looks really crisp. Looks shiny. I mean, Vanguard is obviously the most recent COD game, so kind of just satisfying to go around sniping them, you know? Now, obviously, we're playing Origins, but I'm not going to go for any of the staffs because we're here to do the Vanguard weapons, you know. And we've all seen the staffs a billion times. Now, just a quick word from our wonderful sponsor of this video. You've most likely heard of them. If you haven't, then you must be living under a rock because, honestly, one of my favorite games in a long time, and that is, of course, Raid Shadow Legends. The game itself is probably one of my favorite pastimes that I've had in a very long time. There's over 700 plus unique champions in the game, so talk about content. You'll 100% find a champion that's suited for you. There's 15 different factions, so if you're a fan of elves, lizard men, orcs maybe, and many many more of course. There are currently also 12 dungeons, which are basically just these awesome boss fights that you can do. And there are so many different stages to each one. The replayability of this game is quite insane. Some pretty fun PvP combat, which to be honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy the PvP in this game when I was first getting into it because I don't usually like PvP. But the arena in classic tag team and live arena is extremely fun. You get to flex against all your enemies with your cool champs that you have. There's quite regular content updates, so you'll constantly be getting events and tournaments happening. There's pretty much always something to do in Raid. You can play on mobile or on desktop. I do both because I'm a complete gremlin. On desktop, it's available via Plarium Play. And if you want to play it on your mobile device, whether it's iOS or Android, you just go to your respective store, search in Raid Shadow Legends, and boom, easy peasy. There's so much customization in this game. We're talking about the artifacts, the accessories, champion builds, team compositions. You have to really fit a team around specific bosses to be able to defeat certain ones. I know I've been struggling with Fire Knight and I finally got this champion called Cold Heart and I'm so happy about it. There's currently over 400 million players in 190 plus countries. Like the entire world knows about this video game. And to be honest, I was skeptical at first before getting into it. I was like, you know, it's it's the game, but it's always in those sponsor videos. But unironically, this is one of the most fun games I have played in a long time. I've said that a couple times already, but like, it is just the truth. And I'll definitely be playing it for a long time to come. They have just free rewards every day when you log in. Eventually you get these free legendary champions. If you're looking for a new challenge in Raid, then a brand new boss actually just got released called Akamori the Phantom Shogun. He's an undead general that basically gives you access to accessory ascension, which wasn't a thing in the game before. You can ascend your artifacts, but now you can ascend your accessories as well. So your rings, amulets, and the banners, which is more tailored towards mid to late game players, but it's still gonna be very beneficial. And the boss himself is just really, really cool. The design's awesome. And if you've somehow managed to miss out on the incredible animated limited series, Raid Call of the Arbiter, I highly suggest you check it out. It's all gonna be on the Raid Shadow Legends YouTube channel, all 10 episodes. I've watched every single one, and the fact it released for free, absolutely awesome. Now, if you've not started playing yet, then honestly, you're missing out. I highly suggest you give it a try. Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get some pretty sick bonuses. You can get an epic champion called Knight Errant from the Banner Lords faction, as well as other useful things like energy refills, skill tomes, XP boosts, all very, very useful for playing. It's 
especially in the early game. And Epic Champions, you know, they aren't the easiest thing to get early on, so it'll really give your account that boost to help you continue to grow when you play the game. Remember to check the description, download the game using my link, and yeah, back into the COD Zombies. Kind of nice to play Origins and just appreciate the map itself without doing like any of the upgrade quests. What are we getting now? A symbol monkey. Okay, dude, come on. I need a gun. Oh, are you kidding me? I got another 1911. What? Really, bro? I mean, at least this one seems to be doing a bit more damage, I think. It's like two-shotting them. Oh, God, we got special zombies too. Where's the shield part? Oh, I'm going to guess it's in Death Alley, isn't it? Oh, it's snowing. Well, I mean, we got the part, I suppose, but... Yeah, here we go. Shield part. So what? This does... Yeah, it does. It's just two-shotting. Kind of brilliant. Also, I'm not going to lie. The sound the 1911 makes when you shoot it is kind of nice. I mean, like, it's a little bit tinny, but at the same time... Oh, I accidentally killed the fucking zombie with the explosions. But I don't know. It sounds decent. We've got a Panzer at round eight. If we could get some kind of, like... Okay. You know, I'll take this. M1928. I'm pretty sure the Tommy gun was the M1927, so this is like one version above, I guess. Got a calling card, hell yeah. We're playing on the boy client. For anyone curious, I'm just doing it purely because on solo, I need to have like stability when I'm playing the game and recording. Playing regular BO3, it's just, it's laggy as hell. I mean, you can still get the boy client. Um, I suggest watching Mr. T Lexify's video on it. Basically, he just has like the download in the description or whatever it is. So it's still available. It's good for solo. You just can't have like the online servers unless you do this like patch thing with port forwarding. But I am not going to the trouble of that, dude. I almost had to port forward to try and fix Cold War on Steam, and even that didn't work, so... I wonder what gun is going to be here in, like, the center where the MP40 no is. Oh my god, another staff. <laughs> when I say I'm not going for it, oh yeah, you, you can buy the MP40, okay. Quick scope. It is nice, though, that I don't know if we have infinite ammo on these guns. I don't think we do. Let me try reloading. No, okay, it's only on the gun game mod. Q. Oh, we've got a money drop. I suppose I will happily take that. 500 points. I mean, we can go ahead and turn on Generator 4, probably get Jug real soon. Oh, we got a purple disc, not like it matters, but you know. I'm just, it's just like, I feel like collecting them anyway, even if we're not going to build the staffs. Oh god. Ooh, run. Oh god, missing my hip fire. Okay, we're fine. Well, we need 300 points to be able to get Jug, and it looks like you're the last one. Hello. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus Christ. I somehow didn't manage to hip fire. Oh, we got free pack a punch. I mean, I'll take it. Tommy's Lackluster Bulge. Okay, with the sussy weird names. This is also another reason why I didn't want to have the pack a punch one on, because it, you, you're witnessing it right now, so. But at least we have a pack a punch now. I mean, that's solid. And 350 ammo in the goddamn magazine. That's pretty massive. And we have a reliable way of dealing with the Panzer dickhead now, which is good. Oh, speaking of which, we can also buy Juggernog. Boom, gimme gimme. Feeling so much safer already. Alright, I'm gonna go back and hit the box again, because I wanna, like, just try out more guns, you know? That's what we're playing this mod for, after all. We've got one zombie in the distance. I think this is the very last one, so this is good. I gotta be careful not to fucking slide because of the goddamn explosions, but we should be due a teddy bear pretty soon anyway. Ooh, the well gun? Okay, I mean, this is a pretty cool-looking design. It's like a tube gun. We'll go for another spin. Maybe we'll swap this out if we get something a little better. No, we got a teddy bear. Okay, I kind of saw that coming. Still, though, I'm guessing this is an SMG. It looks nice. It's kind of cool as well because we're using, like, I don't know if it's Vanguard World War One or World War Two, but, you know, it's close enough to this time period. The guns don't feel super out of place. It's not like we're using advanced warfare guns on Origins, but I don't think the Vanguard guns are the issue with Vanguard zombies, let's be honest here. Like, some of them that I saw were actually pretty decent. I mean, this doesn't seem too bad, all things considered. Got a double point to the max ammo, hell yes. This is going to help us get towards, well, we're going to open up a church, do Gen 6, and ooh, go down, apparently. Fucking hell. Just absolutely spraying. It's, oh my god, I'm stuck. I knew it. I knew I was going to go down. It's fine. We just got kind of, I like the uh, the crosshair here. What the fuck? It looks cool. Let me just quickly buy Jug immediately. I knew I was going to have some stupid down. What I get for being greedy and trying to just hip fire only. Oh, we have a fucking Panzer next round as well. This is going to be an interesting experience. I'm going to go for a spin of the Perca Cola because maybe we can get something half decent here. Oh, we've got more points too. Electric Cherry. I wouldn't say that's necessarily going to help us too much, but all right, I'll do one more. Widow's Wine. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I feel a little bit safer now. 
We've got a fire sale. Oh, God, but we've got a fucking panza somewhere. I'd love to go for a spin, but... Oh, shit, there he is, I think. What is it? I got an STG. I'm guessing it's the Vanguard one. Oh, hi, Panzer Soldat. There you are. It's also in Origins, of course. If you've played Origins, you know the STG's in here. Hello, how much fucking health do you have? This is pepper punched. Oh, my God. Bro is almost invincible. Any year now? Jesus, that's his helmet. Holy fuck. How much health? Good God. I've got to jump down. Ugh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Fucking hell. I mean, I've got to go this way anyway because... Oh, I suppose we'll pick this up. Oh, hi. Jesus. We're good. We're fine. Oh, I picked up a packet punch by accident. Oh, we got fireworks, I suppose. I was going to swap weapons so we packet punch our other gun. But yeah, I just want to get quick revive. Fucking Samantha talking a shit ton. Where is the mystery box? It looks like it's all the way at Gen 6, which is just typical. Yeah, this STG, it feels very similar to the one that's already in the game, but it does, it feels like the Sledgehammer uh, STG. You can kind of just, like, tell from the feel of the gun a little bit. Oh, hello. Robots incoming. Gotta try and move out the way real quick, actually. All right, open door. Move out the way, foot. All right, here we go. Gen 6 on. Where is the box? Am I blind? Oh, it's, like, down there, apparently. All right, there we go. Let's kill the fucking teleporting bastard. Give me the fucking fire staff thing. Okay, mystery box. I realize I have monkeys. I could have totally used them earlier, but whatever. Oh, that's the round? The Annihilator. <laughs> okay, bro. Did I ask, though? Did I ask? The Sword Off Double Barrel? I mean, kind of an iconic gun from, like, World War II era. I mean, it's basically like a blunder gap, but not super good. Oh, we got a ray gun. <laughs> well, that's, uh, it's, it got added to Vanguard Zombies eventually, but didn't start off like it, did it? I can't believe it took them like six months or whatever to add a bloody ray gun. Like, how insane is that? The SVT? I don't know. Oh, this gun seems kind of meh. But I don't have enough points anyway. To spin the box again. Oh, fucking teleporting bastards. Insta kill, that helps. Oh, Widow's wine grenades just disappearing. We got the NZ41. I mean, from the look of it, it looks like an LMG, but clearly it's not. Must be an AR. Got a nice looking aesthetic to it. We've got the ray gun again. I mean, I'm going to pass. We're going for uh, new guns only. Sorry, man. Oh, we're taking Gen 2. Of course they're taking fucking Gen 2. The furthest one from me right now. They can't for once be like, you know, we'll take Gen 4 just because we know you're right next to it. Typical, bro. Ah, uh, there's the fire plane. Shoot it down because why not? Oh, running through the mud without fucking stamina. Tragic. Oh, we got a free perk. Double tap. You know, it would have been nice if we got stamina right then, as I said that, but oh, fucking teleports. Still, I can't necessarily complain, all things considered. Fuck off, guys. Right, let's turn on this generator. I'm gonna throw a monkey. Boom. I'm not taking any risks. I always forget I have them whenever I play these fucking games. Right, let's throw another one. Just to be on the safe side. Double tap is going to make this gun actually kind of decent. Because to be honest, it was like... You saw what it was doing to the Panzer. It did not do much damage. I'm going to just assume there's no perk limit. Um, go turn on this generator. And hopefully, we can just buy stamina up straight away. That'd be nice. All right, there we go. All six generators turned on, apparently. And we got the spend 30,000 points thing as well. Hell yes. I mean, we already have double tap, but a free one is, is nice if we go down. Oh, there's the shield part as well. I was wondering where that was. Last one, I think, is by Gen 3. But effort, you know. Gotta go all the way over there. At least we have stamina up now. We can actually traverse the bloody map. Crazy, dude. What a concept. All right, let's jump down here. I saw all the comments on my goddamn Origins Cause and Effect video. I know there's a drop down here that you can go. I just didn't happen to do it. That's all. There we go. Shield part. Boom. 115 generator. Here we go. We actually haven't turned on Gen 3 yet, but because we turned on one of them twice, I think it was Gen 2, we got that six generator challenge done. Oh, move out the way. Fucking with the widows, bro. Oh, while we're here, let's just pick up speed, Cola. How fast is this reload? Oh my, that's like instant. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, when it packet punched, it did seem like it had speed Cola already, like, or like fast mags or something, but. Oh, here we go. Panzer sold out. Where you at, bro? I don't know about you guys, but on BO3 Origins, I swear, when the Panzer spawns in sometimes, it doesn't spawn in, like, right next to you. It spawns all the way on the other side of the map. Like, hello, bro? I don't see him anywhere. I, I thought they did a little, like, teleport thing if they're too far away, you know? Oh, we got perform 115 normal zombie headshots. Decent. Oh, hello. Here's the fucking Panzer Soldat. You took your time, bro. 
Oh, go away, you little bastard. All right, this should be enough to kill you. Even with double tap, look how long that takes. Oh my god. All right, I think we have like just the one zombie left. Oh, well, max ammo. I'll take it. Oh, of course the foot's stomping. Move out the way. We can actually build that shield now, which is good. We can also go pack a punch, but I'm going to go spin the box because I want to try and get a different gun. I'd quite like an LMG or something, to be honest. I haven't seen many of the uh, Vanguard LMGs. What are you going to give me? We got the, the bazooka. Oh, boy. I mean, how fast the reload? It's not terrible. Oh, hello. Well, that's tragic, isn't it? Trouble is, there's no PhD flopper, or at least, like, well, maybe I had it before. I've lost it now, though. We got, oh, what's this? MP41. I didn't even know there was an MP41, but I suppose it makes logical sense. Sure, dude, we'll keep this for a little bit. It's just cool seeing, like, basically the MP40 and the M1927, but different versions, like, just one up. Because I know, in real life, guns have a lot of, like, manufacturing and it's very small changes and updates and stuff. So, what changed in this compared to the MP40? It just looks like, I don't know, the barrel's a bit bigger? <laughs> this kind of hard to tell. Has 32 in the magazine still, just like the regular MP40. If anyone knows in the comment section, feel free to let me know. I love, like, finding out about IRL relating stuff to zombies and Call of Duty and stuff, you know? Oh, a free perk? Don't mind if I do. Mule kick? Actually not bad for what we're doing right now, but I have a feeling we're just gonna get a fucking teddy bear right now, aren't we? Oh no, okay. The Gracie Auto, it's some kind of a shotgun. I think this is like... Isn't this the go-to shotgun when you play Vanguard Zombies? Because it's like semi-auto, so it's like the Brecci or the Gallo from whatever it's called, fucking Cold War. Well, we can pack a punch right now, so screw it, why not? Saint Gracie the Auto, Lamal. It's just the exact same name, pretty much. And we can- oh, we can't quite pack a punch the MP41 yet. Still though, how fat? oh my god, it's full auto. <laughs> Jesus. Oh yeah, that fires fast, all right. Oh, just as I come over here, they're trying to take fucking Gen 4, are they? I'll let them hit it, because then when you kill them, you get this max ammo. Nice little strat. Well, I am a big fan of shotguns, and this shit is kind of obliterating all these zombies right now. I'll go for a Wonder Fizz spin. What are you going to give me? Is that dead shot? Oh boy, my favorite perk of all time. Oh yeah, and look at that reload as well. Instantaneous. Now, if this gun doesn't shit on the Panzer, I don't know what will. Because this is, like, complete annihilation, to be honest. God, and we keep getting so many ammo drops from the zombies as well, so it's like near impossible to fully run out of ammo. This is something that I don't really talk about too much, but in Cold War, Mule Kicker gives you like ammo drops, right? So for a gun that has a shitload of ammo in the magazine, so let's take this fucking 350 ammo magazine gun here. You pick up one magazine off the floor and you're getting half your ammo back instantly. Like, that's how broken that actually is in Cold War, because there are some guns that have pretty similar, like, ammo counts. Also, we can totally go pack a punch real quick. Doing it in the middle of the round, risky, but... Oh, hello. Fire staff part just randomly there. I forgot I shot down that plane. It's funny that the, uh, the sight is a little bit glitched, like, when you zoom in, it sort of renders in. It makes sense because it's not, you know, in this game. But here we go, pack a punch the MP41. Oh, God, I've got a fucking somehow pick it up. There we go. It's called Dale. Hey, Dale from The Walking Dead? What the fuck? One of my favorite characters from the early seasons, actually. Zombie blood. There we go. We can actually fucking leave now. Well, I guess now all we have to do is get some more perks, maybe? I think we have all the regular perks, so... Oh, there we go. Wonder Fizz. <laughs> Got the little teddy bear thing. I'm guessing it's just custom perks now that we can get. And someone recommended I try out the Reaper collection mod because it has, like, cause and effect and stuff. I do plan on doing that. I'll probably record a video on it, like, today at some point. I'm recording this right now on a Sunday. And I record all of my videos on the weekend as of right now. So that's why if you request a video and I don't end up getting around to it, like, a week, two weeks later, it's because I record my videos in bulk. It's not that I don't want to, it's just the fact that, quite literally, I don't have the time to record until, like, the weekend. When I move into my dad's place, I'm gonna have time to basically record whenever, which is gonna be great. So I can do it during the week, and it means that videos aren't a rush. Oh my god, we got the ray gun again. So I am looking forward to that. That'll be in the next couple weeks, I imagine. I've still gotta sort out a shitload of stuff in my room. So many old toys. Hello, Panzer. Well, let's see. Does this gun absolutely we destroy him? Fuck off! Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'd give that like an 8 out of 10 rating for how fast it fucking killed him. Good god, with all these Widow's Wine grenades just popping non-stop. Where is the Wonder Fizz? I think, oh, it's down by Gen 5. Let's quickly build that shield before I keep forgetting. Get all the parts and then just don't end up building it. 
There we go. Shield acquired. You can't build it on the gun game version of these weapon pack mods, but obviously we're not doing gun game right now, so it's fine. Okay, here we go. Wonder Fears, what are you going to give me? I'll throw a monkey just so we can uh, get the zombies out of my face. We got some kind of like... Oh, is this Vigor Rush? I think it is. It, it sort of like makes your bullets fiery or explosions. You can kind of see the animation a little bit. Oh, we got something else. Was that a perk or carpenter or something? I don't know. Oh, God. Throw down a monkey again. <laughs> yeah, this is shitting on them. Insta-kill, switch to the old Tommy gun. Uh, we can't spin this anymore, so the only perks we can get now are from perk drops. Which is fine, you know. Maybe we can get that PhD back, because as you see, when we slide, we don't have it anymore. Prestige Master level 54, fuck yeah. Oh, it's cool, we can still get, like, the Mauser and stuff out of the, uh, the digging holes. So if you do play this mod and you want the Mauser still, you can obviously get it. I found it really cool that, that 1911 we picked up out of the box just had more damage than the standard 1911 we spawned in with. Like, even though it's the exact same gun, it just, it was coded to have more damage. It's almost like it has weapon rarities in the game, kind of like Vanguard and Cold War, but it doesn't, which is interesting. I like that. I woke up and I fucking instantly started recording, haven't even eaten yet. I sort of just, I don't know about you guys, but I can't eat immediately when I wake up. I just, I have to have like a, uh, a grace period, I suppose, of being awake to want to eat stuff. But now I am getting pretty hungry. We don't have any bread, though, is the thing. It went off over the weekend, so I'm just going to have, like, a pizza for my breakfast. I mean, it's 3 p.m. almost, so it's not, like, the weirdest thing in the world. Also, yeah, for anyone curious about this rash thing that I said that I had, like, a week ago or whatever, I've had it for, like, three weeks now. Oh, generator three. But yeah, I still have the rash and it's kind of like all over my body now, more or less, except for my face and other areas. But I'm kind of just assuming it's an eczema flare up and that's literally it because all it is is dry skin. It's just the fact that it's like spreading to other areas is making me think, huh, that's not normally what you'd think X-Men would do, but maybe it's just a really bad one. Because, yeah, it's not itchy. It's uh, it's just red, scaly, and dry, I guess, is my the way I would describe my skin right now. It's just a minor inconvenience, let's be honest. I mean, would I rather have this or have a flu for three weeks? Hell yeah, I'll take the fucking rash. Give, give me it all year round if it means we don't have to deal with that shit. Oh, boom, that's round 20. I suppose what we can do is we can go and spin the box a little bit more. Maybe we can get some more new guns. I was kind of disappointed by the MP. 41 because as you can see it only has 64 bullets per magazine i mean sure the reload's god tier fucking speed but oh we got a panzer spawning oh and he's actually right next to me for once crazy dude say hello to my fucking shotgun bitch <laughs> he didn't stand a goddamn chance oh there's the disc i can't even fucking pick it up oh my god red screen from fucking grenades i dug up jesus that was close <laughs> Oh, fuck. This is why we want PhD as well. Well, I know for a fact we're going to get a teddy bear, like, right now. So just hurry up and give me it, bro. Oh, no. We got the bar. I mean, I'm not really too much of a fan of the bar, but fuck it, dude. If you want new guns, I suppose I'll take it. That's the round. I mean, we'll go for another spin. I just want to get the box out of this location. So it's a bit closer to, like, Gen 4, maybe. The STG, oh, whatever, dude, I'll pick it up for swap it. Not a bad gun, of course. The SVT again, dude. Oh, come on. I've got to switch to my shotgun. Ah, nuke, thank God. You're going to give me this tiny fucking double barrel again? I mean, Poppy wants to pack-a-punch it. If we get Teddy, I'll both pack-a-punch whatever we get. Yep, all right, I'll do it. I mean, it seems to be like... It's a one-shot, honestly. And the reload isn't exactly the slowest in the world. Oh, God, the fucking foot slamming down. Oh, shit. Actually stuck. That's not good. Move, please. There we go. Throw a monkey over there. Oh, I can actually pack a punch. Let's go. The Regims and Elen. Don't know what exactly the name means, but it's dual wield. That's cool. It looks kind of sick, not going to lie. Where'd the box move to? Oh, it's all the way over there. Is, is that Gen 2 again? I think it is. Oh, it's got like the, uh, the spinny reload. Oh, I guess it's just a kind of like a flick. Still looks cool. Oh, we got a free pack of punch drop. Whatever. Give me fireworks again. Why not? I suppose we can fill up this box for no re reason whatsoever. Oh, hiccups. Oh, wait. The KN44 is replaced with the I AS44. What is this? Oh, okay. Some kind of uh, a assault rifle. Fucking hiccups, bro. All right, we filled up the box at least. I mean, <laughs> we're not going for the fists or anything, but... Just the uh, internal need to complete things. Oh, we got a free perk. Let's go. Is that PhD? It is. Let's go, dude. So I assume that means we have explosion. 
the prevention, and it's not just the slide. Damn, I kind of want to get that uh, rocket launch back now. It looks like it's a G Gen 3. Fucking hell with the hiccups, bro. Can it go? We got a th oh, the three-line rifle. Back to this bloody gun again. I mean, at least it's somehow one-shotting one still. Oh, teleporting, fuckers. Got this gun again, I just got rid of you. The automaton. Um, another LMG, uh, assault rifle, fucking brain. The MK11 launcher, wait a minute, this is cool. And they're taking Gen 3. It's kind of shit right now, so I mean, when we pack a punch it, maybe it'll be better. I'm sorry, they're still taking it. There's no fucking zombies left. Huh? How are they taking- Oh, it's on the floor. I'm so blind. Well, I got what I wanted, so do I have explosion prevention? I do. Nice. Let's see how it is then when we pack a punch it. I'm guessing that means the MP40 on the wall there is the regular MP40 from Vanguard and not from Origins, but we'll see. Here we go. Fucking hell. Vanilla ice cream. What a name. Oh, and it's an instant explosion. Hell yes. Fucking hiccups still five minutes later. I mean, all things considered, it's a cool looking launcher. Pew, 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 pew. I mean, it doesn't, it's not like reliably one-shotting, but you can really spam this. I'm curious how this would be against ye old Panzer Soldat. I suppose there's only one way to find out. We're going to go on to the next round. I think it's next round with you one. Kill 200 zombies with explosives. Hey, calling cards. Like, just the fact the boy client lets you level up and get stuff like that is just so, it's so nice. It really adds to the replay value. All right, here we go. Panzer Soldat time. Wherever is he going to spawn? Oh, he's over there. I see you, bastard. Oh, I've got to run on here. I mean, we could throw a monkey. That would be ideal. I just want to go for you, fucker. How's it feel, bitch? Hey, yeah, we shit on him. That was like maybe a magazine and a half. So nine shots of the, uh, the launcher. How good is the PhD slider going to be? Like the actual explosion. Oh, we've got some kind of... A oh, it's a packet punch drop. Can we put fireworks on this? We can? Oh, hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. What? It does actually work as well. All right, here we go. Let's build up a horde. Just slide on in. <laughs> I mean, it, it seemed to kill quite a few. Then we have to recharge it. Oh god, yeah, that didn't work. Slide. Pew, 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 pew. Oh yeah, there we go. It's got like a cooldown. And that's the round. Well, I think that's pretty much going to do it for the Vanguard Origins... Vanguard Origins? The Origins with Vanguard Guns. Bit of a mouthful. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video coming very soon.